Welcome aboard the largest, most innovative cruise ship in the world, the Allure of the Seas. With 6,000 guests and over 2,000 crew, it's easy to see why they call this a city at sea. I'm here on the Royal Promenade and with features such as bars, cafes, live music, even parades and street parties, this really is the heart of the ship. And it's also where I met Sai. How are you doing today, Sai? Wonderful, wonderful. Glad to hear it. Now tell me, how do you feel to be on the biggest cruise ship in the world? Fantastic. It's been a great trip. So you're excited to be here? Yes, very. Fabulous. Now on a ship this size, I can say maybe you got lost once or twice when you first came on board, am I right? Actually, I didn't get lost because my wife is wonderful with directions. So whatever she says, I do. Wow, that's great. Always follow the wife, right? Wow. <laughs> now, what kind of cruise is this for you? Is it an active cruise? Are we going to see you ice skating and rock climbing? No, I'm trying to get on the zip line. It's been very crowded. I've been playing a lot of ping pong a lot, and uh, we've been doing a lot of walking. I haven't, I've, I've been active. I've been active. That's excellent. So hopefully you're going to find a bit of time for relaxation too. Yes. Well, Sai, thank you so much for talking to us. Have a wonderful cruise. And as for us, we're off to Central Park. The most impressive area and truly one of my favorite parts of the ship is this stunning Central Park. There are over 12,000 plants and trees here and it took a whole team of landscape gardeners months to create and design this space. So whether you want a quiet area to kick back and enjoy a good book or you want an evening of five-star dining under the stars, Central Park is not to be missed. We're here on the seaside inspired boardwalk and behind me is the amazing Aqua Theatre. Now, this may look like just an empty stage right now, but in the nighttime it bursts into action as a cast of world-class divers and acrobats bring to life their incredible show, Ocean Aria. As the acrobats fly through the air and on and off of trampolines, the extreme high divers um, leave the audience in awe as they dive from tiny platforms 59 feet above the water. Now if you ask me, they're a little bit crazy. All the way up on deck number 16 is the Flowrider. The Flowrider has been one of the most popular attractions on ships since 2006 when it was introduced on the Freedom of the Seas. It's available for all ages and abilities from boogie boarding for the complete beginner to stand up surfing for the more advanced. Now behind me you can see some of the very talented professional sports staff and when they're not here showing off their moves you can find them coaching group sessions and even individual tuition. So what am I waiting for. I'm about to sign up. The incredible pool deck stretches the entire length of the ship and has 21 pools and hot tubs to choose from. Ranging from the quiet of the solarium pool to the fun and excitement of the beach pool, there really is something for the whole family. I'm here in the H2O zone, a fun place for children and adults alike to splash and play until their heart's content. However, if you are looking for something a little more active, then check out the sports pool. They have a whole array of tournaments and even scuba diving lessons for you to sign up for. Well, there are a thousand other things that I could show you, but unfortunately, that's all we have time for. So once again, my name is Mandy. Thanks for tuning in.